Hello, MISD teachers. This is Josh Voiles, and I'm here today making an instructional video for you on how to install the Chrome application onto your Clever Touch Smart Panel. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, a lot of teachers are going to want to use Chrome because as a district, we use a lot of the Google applications for teaching and things that we do. And of course, we're logging into our Google accounts uh, as teachers. And so a lot of teachers are going to want to have the app on their Clever Touch as well. So the first thing we need to do to start out is if you see here on my Clever Touch, I can go down to the bottom where it says apps. And if I scroll through there, you can see I have Chrome installed, but a lot of you will not have Chrome installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. And if you don't have Chrome installed, all you have to do is go over to the uh, side arrow. And instead of going to apps, now we're going to go to Clever Store, the orange uh, shopping cart in the middle there. I'm just going to click on Clever Store. And instead of having to scroll through all of these different apps, what I'm going to do is click on the magnifying glass over on the left-hand side. And then here near the bottom, you're going to see underneath um, all of these different categories, uh, the very last category is web browser. So I'm going to choose web browser. And then over on the corner is the button that says done. And if you're not careful, you might not see that on the side. When you're standing in front of the Clever Touch, uh, some of those things are hard to see because the Clever Touch is just so big in your uh, field of view. So watch out for that. So I'm going to tap on the done button. And then now I can see all of the web browsers that I'm searching for inside of the Clever Store. So here's Google Chrome. I'm going to click on Google Chrome, and then I'm just going to click on Install App. And that's going to ask me if I really want to install. I'm going to go and choose Install over on the very corner once again. And that's going to take a little bit. So I'm going to let this install, and then I'm going to come back here in just a second when it's finished. Okay, we're back and that has installed. And so now that that's installed onto my Clever Touch, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose Open App. But if you wanted to, you could actually tap on your pencil and go back to your home page. And then you could choose the arrow there and then go down to your apps. And then you'll definitely see indeed that that has installed. And you can see Chrome right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tap on the Chrome application and that's going to launch Chrome. And then you'll just click OK, accept and continue. Great, so now we're looking at our uh, Chrome browser and you'll notice that it does look a little bit different than the normal browser that just comes with the Clever Touch. So now that I've got my Chrome browser, I do wanna show you one more thing. So I can actually go to the Google homepage and sign into my account and you're going to want to do that and then just like I normally do like on a phone or on a computer I'm going to sign in to my Google account okay now here I am on the Google homepage I've signed into my Google account as you can see I can go up to the waffle on the corner and I can you know check Gmail or any of the normal stuff that I would have on my phone or computer now there's one other thing that I do want to show you. So let's say that I want to go to my Google Drive. I can tap Google Drive there. And um, this is something that is a little bit harder to do on the uh, Clever Touch browser. And that's another benefit of using the Chrome browser while you're using your while you're browsing the uh, the internet on your Clever Touch device. But one thing that you do need to know is that if you're inside of something uh, like Google Drive or Google Docs, a lot of times it will look kind of weird. And that's because you're viewing this. You can see here is my Google Drive. I've just got some of the stuff that I've been working on um, for instructional technology. And as you can see, it has given me a view of my Google Drive as if I was viewing it on a phone. So what you're going to want to do if that ever happens, you're just going to go up to these three dots on the very uh, right corner of the screen, tap those three dots, and then you're going to see near the bottom of that drop down menu something that says desktop site. So I want to view this not as a mobile website, but as a desktop website. You just check that button. You'll see that it might take a little bit for that to refresh, but now I'm viewing it on a normal as a normal desktop 
uh, website uh, and I'm inside of my Google Drive. Um, you might have to do that on a few different websites, uh, but that is definitely beneficial for you. Um, it's a lot easier to get to as well when you're using uh, Chrome rather than the regular browser that comes on uh, the Clever Touch device. So I hope this video has been beneficial to you. Uh, download Chrome onto your Clever Touch, give it a try and see if it doesn't help you. Thank you for watching.